today i am discussing this new features of lit maps a uh, lit maps ai is one of the best literature review tool that can save you hours of time of your literature review of your literature searching so how this literature map works actually this creates a very good map for you how i will just show you a quick example here it is giving you an option that once okay before uh, i will move uh, you can just uh, open uh, this lit maps on the google and just simply you can sign in with your uh, email id and once you are done uh, this will be the interface that you will have and it will have a lot of options i will sh just shortly explore now the one thing that you will start with is this create your first lit map from here or here how i'm just clicking here and say once you have clicked it given you a, this search bar just like your other uh, search engines like PubMed and google scholar and here you can search with either your title keywords doi or an author the best way is search is to at least get one or two related articles that are uh, uh, related to your research question uh, just i will give you example say for example i am uh, working on a title uh, or a topic which is the iron deficiency in heart failure so say for example i went into the, this pubmed i got this article i read this article okay this article say for example is related to my research so and i need more such articles related in short time rather than giving too many time to google and google scholar pubmed and other things just copy either this doi or this whole title i'm just copying this doi from here i will just copy paste the doi of this article which i am interested in which is related to my research question copy just paste this once you paste it just click search by the way another option is you can also paste the title of that paper here or you can also search like traditional uh, search engines by typing the words like anemia heart failure and this another option is here you can upload a file say for example if you click upload a file uh, it will give you option if any of the articles you have in pdf related to your topic you got through some search engine through some supervisor or anything just you will open and uh, it will also do the same function once uh, you have chosen this way of communicating with this lit maps <clears throat> I'm basically going with this DOI now right now uh, this uh, function will be the same if you upload a file or DOI or title just click search and say it has opened the same article for you that you brought from the PubMed click on it and here it is a summary of this article it is showing you the author the year of publication here this here on the top is showing you this references that this article has got this 19 references okay and what is this two this two means this article is citations probably this article is just published in 2022 whatever what you can do is if you click on these three buttons here you can either this add to add to where you can add this article into this tags option what is tags option is just like a new folder creation option if you are creating a tag you could click a place here say new tag name it say for example i am creating it project one say for example i am creating this folder okay i have created it and the tag is name create project one once you're done that paper is saved from here okay this is the paper this is a dui you got the references of this paper citations another option with three button is explore on a new lit map you can create a lit map uh, of this article very freshly another thing is export if you for example uh, i will uh, basically show you these things later first this is the abstract of this paper you can read okay create the lit map click on see you just brought the one article related to your topic and here out this is actually the lit map this is known as the actually a map a map of literature every uh, uh, this circle you are seeing is actually a research paper and how this uh, lit map is actually arranged that the these papers on top the circles on top each circle represents a paper the paper on top they have the more number of citations you can also see uh, cite count that means these articles are most cited 
those on the top are the highly cited articles and those on the bottom are the least uh, cited articles uh, if you uh, read this map from horizontally just like this article those are here at this right end they have the less number of uh, oh, sorry they are the uh, published in the earlier years say for example this article is published in 2009 this is 2015 this is 2013 15 16 17 so as you go here more towards the left these are the articles that are recently published as you go back these are the earliest published articles so the early articles published earlier will be here on this side and uh, the articles that are published later they will be published here so the most recent article you will find here and the oldest articles will be here each of one you can click on any of those and they will be open separately say for example i'm clicking on this this is the latest article the article i brought was published in 2022 but this is another article now all of the articles that are shown here in this map they are actually here in these boxes as well uh, say for example this is one of the article which article just click on it will show you okay this represents this at uh, this article okay yeah i click in this article this arrow was this is from 2017 clear and uh, this is the 2017 clear art so you can uh, you know play with each of these articles say for example this is one of the article here it is a journal which journal is published cardiovascular metabolic disorders Kapoor 2013 era publication author name in here see this zero it has zero references actually i don't know what it is uh and it has 40 citations you can do any of you can view the source directly again that means view source that means it will take you to the journal where it is published you can export you have option of exporting this one particular article from here you can uh, take it as a bibtex file into endnote or csv file or risk file into zotero any of reference managers i'm not doing this so all of the articles are shown here they are also shown in detail here in these boxes as well and what you can do is say for example this is article i actually like this now this is if i'm clicking on this see it is showing you how this article is linked with other three articles this is this osaka 2020 this is article and once you click on it you see it is linked with three other articles that are linked with it that are published before that uh, article so they are similar article if you click on this it will again show you the articles which are more closely related to this one and you can actually just play around with it say for example this is the article and what i can do is see it has 69 references and 14 citations i can click on this article and once i click the whole detail of this article will be here in front of you you can see the abstract of this article your details of the article and here this is option it says that more like this say for example you like this article and you see you want to see the more like of this article you can click on this and it will show you more articles say for example this is the article i liked i just want to wish to add it where i want to wish it into the uh, tags which tags i actually want to so if you wish to uh, add this one article into your previously created folder just click on this tag option here plus we had just earlier created a project for an article it will be added there just like this you can remove this and see for example you have this article say for example you like this article you can click into project one it will be saved there and once you can say okay i wish to see more like this it will show you more like this these are multiple articles related to this one article then what you can do is you can add more articles from other sources into this from any of research box uh, 
uh, search engines are upload a file or my library you can create a my library here as well by exporting articles manually what you can do other is that if you click on this articles it will show you how many articles did you save from this literature review. you are not going to save every article those article that are going to fit your research question see just with a uh, click single clicks on a single page you don't need to read too many articles it gives you the abstract so the first phase of a literature review of a systematic review meta analysis if you are doing a literature review for your thesis or your other papers uh, the first stage in which we just either add or exclude the articles that is the is first screening that uh, we screen the articles based on the titles and abstract and on a single paper each article you just click with a single click it is giving you the abstract and titles and you can either include and exclude say for example you uh, selected these three articles it can be more than that i just uh, showing an example it can be 10 20 20 30 or more say for example i have selected all three articles what i can do is either i can export these articles all three articles say for example i'm uh, saving a risk file downloading it it is saving this is the one option you can do is export these files another is you can add these files all these files into this your tag that you just had created project one click on this done it will be saved to that project and see each article that i saved it is showing the references that this one rt first article had 117 references this is 69 references that means it has so much uh, references you open the article you will see another 117 related articles you can use those 19 and these are citations this is cited by 10 articles this is cited by 14 articles and this is uh, two articles now the file that i just exported from here clicking this download option i download a risk file and what i can do is this risk file is now uh, which is with the name of untitled risk is saved here at the my download options and uh, where it is okay this is uh, untitled what i can do is you can just go to zotero and i'm showing you how you can uh, just export all these articles into your reference manager if you can go to that your project one tag see it is again showing all the references it is just giving you option to add articles you can rename this uh, file duplicate make a duplicate of it delete it you can visualize a map of these three articles this is the article uh, i showed you this is the one article article number one of 2022 then 23 another 22 article uh, you can from here the very uh, bottom left you is a option of image you can export that image as well that image will be saved of this map or the map i show you from here you can share it with anyone share with the link share to an email address so these are the options if you wish to share it to any of your colleagues and say for example what else you can do with this explore the related articles is searching thousands of citations and references see okay i have my zotero library opened uh, and what i can do is say for example this is one of the folder that i made for my new project and i wish to uh, export all that file say for example it had got 30 uh, papers say for example though i have only three and what i will do it i will just click on this file uh, i will click on this import import actually i will import a bipax rex or zotero rd file click on next and this will take you to your download 
option it was the risk file was saved actually with untitled risk file we need this untitled risk file open it do next i have already clicked uh, this finish it i have already uh, clicked this sorry this whole see this whole uh, file is just exported into zotero and once you open these articles these are the details of this articles on right side all your articles are here when you double click that any of those articles see these articles are opening here so this is how you can integrate this lit maps with zotero You can from this image option you can export this figure as well so this is how you can play with your literature review with this ai tool i hope this lit maps tutorial was really helpful for you thank you